Hey everybody, <clears throat> we're out here today in Atascadero, California on Carmel Road and they're building a house over here and I thought maybe I'd do a little series on the progress of the construction and what's going on. So what we have here is uh, it's already underway and it's actually been a quite a long process. They had a lot that was up on this hill and uh, down here is a dry creek that leads to a pond called Grandpa's Lake. And in order to make this a buildable site, they had to construct a bridge, which is a, uh, even a small one like this is a pretty monumental uh, task. Requires a fair amount of civil engineering, some heavy equipment operations, uh, suppliers, uh, all kinds of jobs uh, involved here. And as you can see on every construction site, we've got a job, Johnny. So we're going across the bridge here. And uh, it's pretty, uh, pretty interesting, the construction that, that this uh, involves. That's the underside of the bridge. And going across there. So here's the lay of the land. They've spent a fair amount of time excavating into the uh, side of this hill. And uh, then they uh, built a retaining wall, which is basically to kill, keep the hill from coming down. And you can see these stakes here. These are, they used a transit to line up and level the holes for the foundation for the structures. Here you can see the, uh, the string here. And that is where the level of the foundation is going to be, I assume. Well, you can see that the string hits the, the middle of that excavation. These are the, this is the foundation for a structure, typically a foot wide and uh, 18 to 24 inches deep. So this is the foundation wall that they built first. And you can see it's a mortarless retaining wall. They stack it in and they fill it with rock. And it's got a slight uh, backward angle to it, as you can see. And after they dug out the hill, they uh, put this in all the way around. Here's some more uh, look at the foundation. And just uh, judging by the layout here, this is probably the garage, two car garage it looks like. And here's the back at the foundation wall, the back of the property. You can see it's got quite an upslope there, back up to the neighbors. More foundation, although that is not fully dug. That may be for some uh, utilities of some type, uh, electric possibly. You can see how precise the backhoe has dug these trenches for the foundation. Now over here, below this mound of dirt, they already dug a hole and they buried the septic tank. When you aren't connected to city sewer, they have a septic system. So the septic tank is very large. It's almost as big as that orange tractor there. It's just kind of a big round tank. And uh, then behind the tank, they have what's called a leach field. Uh, oh, excuse me, here's the tank right now, you can see Maybe I'll zoom in a little on that. So that's the top of the tank of the septic tank. You can see it's quite large. They can be cement or they can be uh, plastic. So um, there's one lid and two lid for the septic tank. And then that is the disbursement chamber, I assume, for the leach field. So the septic tank is for heavy waste, poop, 
that settles to the bottom and needs to be cleaned out occasionally by a big sucker. And then the liquid waste goes into a leach field system of, of various types that then just uh, dissipates into the ground. So here's where we're at right now. And I'll keep you posted with some progress.